Hello everyone, welcome back to more of the Oblivious Garden. As you can see, Lyra is crying. She had quite an emotional dream, which caused bad memories and horrible things. So, let's continue on. Tears rapidly drop from my face. I cannot speak. My soul is struggling so hard. Why? Why? Every time I look back, I feel so much agony that I cannot keep myself from remembering. The warmth from the ember is better than the freezing winds in this garden. But I can feel no more. There is only coldness. My whole body is going to freeze. My blood, my heartbeat, even my breath, all are full of coldness. I start to sing in order to fight back. Tears are all over the ruins. Corpses are everywhere on the ground. Those who died are gone. Those who died are past. Snow covers the land. Clouds cover the sky. We remember them. We grieve for them. When we lose our dreams. There is a familiar voice coming from behind me. It is Marian, the one who is closest to me. And the only one who comes from Diaz with me. I nod my head without saying a word. Marion sits beside me, putting my head on her lap. Though she doesn't say anything, I can feel the coldness that was all around gradually dissipate. After a long time, I break the silence. Why should I think of him? I sent him back myself. <laughs> Marion smiles and starts to touch my hair. I whisper. Interesting. Do I really care about him? Maybe, compared to everyone else. He may have something different. But that doesn't make any sense. His difference will not change anything. Hmm. As the fragments of my deep memory start coming together, I remember something I've been trying to forget. I am back at the burning capital of Dias. When I regained my consciousness, all the kids were lined in the pool of blood. I was hidden in the shadow of a narrow lane by someone. It did not prevent, but instead delayed my impending fate for a few moments. My concern at that moment was that what I was trying to protect did not exist anymore. Though I might have been able to live for some time, did it make sense for me to continue to do so? Hey, there's another rat here. A yell from a soldier interrupted my thoughts. In this burning city full of enemies, I could only imagine what a girl's fate would be if she got caught. I like that outfit. I place the sword against my neck. I'd rather die than be captured. Father, everyone, I'm so sorry. Don't end your life so easily. You have hope as long as you are alive. My wrist was held by a strong hand before the blade cut into my neck. 
，生命是我自己的，我可以用它来换取自己认为崇高的东西。Yeah, we get something and we also lose something at the same time, but is it worth it? 值不值，用不着你来评价。This is ridiculous. An enemy officer just took down the capital and left his men to kill people and torch the city. Came to persuade a girl he didn't know not to commit suicide. What on earth did he want to do? I have been looking for the answer since. I remember that face because of that unpleasant meeting. That was my first meeting with Irel. After that, I came to the garden. No one cares about my past here or my future, and no one cares about who I am. I am just a prisoner with a princess's name. If nothing special happens, I will spend my whole life here or become a concubine of the Emperor Xanti. I have lost my future. 我这样的人，谈论感情实在是太奢侈了。何况他是当年率军占领迪斯的将军。即使迪斯已经不在了，但曾经身为迪斯公主的我，又怎么能这样轻易地忘记他过去做的事情 ？Marion's gentle touch wakes me up from my memory. Only with her can I speak the truth. 不要把这些事情全部担在你肩上，我的殿下。无论如何，迪斯都已经不在了。你有自己的生活，为他守节不是你的责任。如果流着皇族之血的我也忘记了这一切，那么还有谁会记着迪斯呢 ？The room is filled with dead silence. After a long time, Marion takes out a comb and starts to do it my hair. 忘记就忘记吧，这个世界上没有任何东西能够永远有人记得，无论是多么伟大的事物。最终，或连曾经存在过都无人知晓。小小的迪斯算得了什么呢？愧疚但不悔恨，服从但保有尊严。我们要做的也只有这些。I sit beside her quietly, as if we've gone back to those peaceful days. Happy times always pass quickly. At last, Marion ties up my hair and pats my head. 去享受生活吧，我的小公主。当你迷惘的时候，别问你的头脑，问你的心。而迪斯，我们已经用了这么多时间来铭记他，这么多的时间。Okay, I thought the game froze for a second. Marion has promised me that she will persuade Lyra. I believe her, but due to my habits as a soldier, I cannot calm down until I know the result. After all, I also worry about the miracle play. Oh, who would it be this late? It might be Marion. I don't know if she has persuaded Lyra. With a palpitating heart, I open the door. I am so surprised to see the one in front of my door. 怎么，贵国的礼仪竟然是让女士在门口等候吗？还真是让人大吃一惊呢，艾尔先生。It's the bad-tempered Princess Lyra who always ridicules me. Is it the end of the world? Sorry, I did. I did not expect to see you, Lyra, Your Highness. I was too surprised to move. 算你会说话，这次就放过你了。其实也没有什么大事。我来这里就是告诉你一件事的。你明天把你的剧本带来找我，我来帮你修改一下。Seriously? 真是的，这样麻烦的事情最后还是要我来做，你就不能稍微努力一点吗？ She stands there with her hands crossed. She is waiting for my reply. But I am too shocked to say even a word. I have no explanation for the situation. Why is she editing the script together with me? What did Marion do to her to change her so much? 喂，你这个庶民怎么不说话？不愿意我来帮你修改吗 ？No, no, I want help. It's just a shock to me. I mean. Thank you so much, Your Highness. 要不是玛丽安，算了，我跟你说这些做什么？你知道了就够了。那我就回去了。明天又不知道要花多少精力来修改，真是麻烦死了。After sending Lyra back to her room, I am so excited that I shake my fist in the air. Huzzah! 
that we've had many conflicts. Things are going on the right path now. Ooh, look at that. Lyra finally joins the rehearsal of the Miracle Play with the help of Marion. Actually, there is no hard work to do. We only need to worry about the script and our performance. The script that has worried me so much has been solved with Lyra's help. After her revision, I compared the new script with mine. Though there aren't many edits, the script looks much better. I feel puzzled about this. Maybe because Lyra is so talented at writing that I could never reach her level. When I am burying her impatience, I have to admit that people have different talents at the same time. But we get more questions while we build up the script. I cannot follow Lyra's pace when we play. In the past few years, I've been living as a civilian in Salantu, so I didn't have any chance to see this kind of elegant art. And in my earlier years, how could a general who was always on battlegrounds have time to see this? Different from the princesses here, I am just a lay person when it comes to dramas. There is little time for us to prepare. We can only use our spare time to improve our coordination. In the last week, I've slept less than five hours each day. Though Lear has been criticizing me, I'm gradually getting to her standard. I don't know if I can catch up. Qualified performance won't be anywhere near enough. For my soldiers who died in foreign lands, and for the sins on my shoulders, I need to be the best. I need to be responsible. Though it's been many years, I have the same feeling as when I was going into battle. The difference is, at that time, our lives were in our own hands. Right now, what is in my hands are the souls of thousands of soldiers who are missing from their homeland. This feeling is more real than ever. This is my pressure and my motivation. I have no other way to go now. Wash your head, don't move your arms. I want to do as Lear taught me this morning. Unfortunately, I stumble again. I have been practicing a lot, but still cannot satisfy her. Though I don't know why she didn't jeer me like before, I can sense her disappointment. All I can do is practice. I have no talent like Lyra. Whether it is a simple drama or the miracle play, I know nothing compared to her. I need to catch up by putting more effort into my practice. As Lyra said, this world is not fair. We might fail even if we try hard. But at least I have to try. I slap my fist to concentrate. Relax! Stop looking at the ground. I repeat the simple movements again and again. I am the only one in the fencing hall. No one is watching me, so I don't know if I've made any progress. But I feel like my soul is being released from the stone that used to cover my skin. When I manage to finish one stage, I hear Lyra's voice from behind. Lyra, your highness, why are you here? She would have left here when the practice ended in the afternoon. I don't think this princess needs to practice anymore. Marian和我说，你每天晚上都在这里练习神技剧。可我就觉得奇怪。当然我知道，这是因为你太愚蠢的原因。但是别人不知道，我可不想让别人误会，这是因为我知道的太差，所以你花了这么长时间来练习，但
How should we answer? Should we say you are right, but that is not my way? Or should we say you are helpful, but there is another way? Hmm, I'm leaning toward this one. But you know what? I'm gonna let you guys make the choice. Is she right? But it's just not how we do things? Or... She's kinda right, but we're gonna go our own way. You know what? Let's make the choice. I will see you all in the next episode of Oblivious Garden. Take it easy.